I was hired almost a year before my start date. After receiving my offer, not only did I graduate with my MBA, but I maintained a long-distance relationship, and we had a son. Filled with nerves and excitement as a January hire, I was thrust directly into our busiest season. Eager to make a positive impression and nervous to let anyone know that I was a mom, I imagined the inevitable. I'm sorry, Leslie, but we just can't allow for increased flexibility seeing as how you've been here for a total of three hours. Or maybe he'd even be silent. Before he had the opportunity to communicate his views, I assured him that I would work diligently to demonstrate my dedication to the team, even if it meant working after my son went to sleep or staying late certain nights to ensure I got the coaching that I needed. He said, I appreciate your honesty and your tone and that communication is the only way that we both can be successful. It left me with the desire to pay it forward and lead with empathy as if it were me in their shoes because it was, time and time again. When I needed to transfer or be there for my family or friend, or when my son was diagnosed with autism. The difference between balance and perfection isn't always plain to see. It's not like wearing hats or changing clothes for shifting priorities, but some things just rest easy on my heart, like when my son says, Mommy. It sounds like the sweetness of the breeze through the leaves to my ears because only we know the countless days that we've spent in speech therapy, or the ways that we make accommodations to bring out his brilliance when your child has taught you the true meaning of resilience and you hope to be an image of him. These things have continued to shape me into the best version of myself as a mother, wife, leader, and friend. My name is Leslie Walker, and I'm a PwC Senior Manager.